Good morning. This is the crypto day morning for that of the 7th of September 2018. All bets, trades uh, of the like is always within your own risk, own reward. Although I'm just basically going to go over a lot of like if else situations as normal, meaning the market could go up, could go down. It's the easiest way of putting it. As you might ask the question, oh, is this going to be a bottom? Well, probably not, but bottoms are known after the fact for it's easy to call this the low because it had a tremendous rally up to here, thus making it easy to call this the high. But if you were to say that the low was going to come in at 69.52, no, it didn't happen. Even here at 62.13, well, technically, it even got down to here. But we can see since it's had a good gain. This has already went down enough. A, a single day from the, uh, well over the 18, no, uh, nicely over the 18 of highs as far as where it was. And then barely closing below the lows and then a follow through day well below the, or noticeably well below the 18. That's enough to say, okay, this is a key high. If we get, if we go back up and break that level, then that would, this would be obviously the key low. But we're in a situation where long term we've been making lower highs and matching lows and in this case here we can uh, just put in some of these matching lows so it's roughly at around that 5800 5900 barrier as what has been tested three maybe four times I mean this was 6500 here so it was a decent pierce above but regardless of the fact there's been so many cases in which it has made a lower high that it can only make like they can't really make any more lower highs after this and that's why it's almost what I would call in chart analysis something I would name for decision day, that of D day. I know it's it could be used. It's for something that's got to have a big uh, out, like a, the situation climax is coming uh, to the point. But that's that's the term that I gave it when I first uh, figured out these those situations. Like it's either got to make that move, which would be to three thousand most likely if it breaks the level of support relatively soon. Or it's uh, going to have to uh, start talking about uh, getting past above this level and resuming a bull market and getting the 18 average, at least on one of these types of time frames, and a nice consistent uh, rising average. Because the only times that it has been in a rising spot is when it found the lower highs. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.